This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys, Vincent here from the creativedojo.net. Welcome to another video quick tip. Today's video we're we'll talking about expressions, specifically the new changes to the After Effects 2019 November release. This is basically After Effects 2020, also known as version 17. And of course you're gonna get a lot of performance improvements, preview and rendering improvements, playback improvements. Um, there's also a new EXR workflow improvement. Um, so basically, if you do a lot of EXR file rendering from 3D applications, the workflow is a lot easier and faster. And what I'm really excited about most is the actual drop down menu control effect, as well as the additional access that we get to text properties using expressions. And of course, there are other changes here that I'll link to this article in the video description down below so you can check out and read on your own. But basically, I'm going to show you guys the new control, as well as kind of a touch up on the new access that we get using expressions to text properties. So here I have a composition right here and it's kind of rigged up with this expression controls right here. This is a new control here. And so before under the effects, expression controls, um, you didn't have this new drop down menu control. And if you don't see this, it's probably because you don't have the new version of After Effects 2020. Um, so go ahead and update there. But what it looks like is something like this. And what you can do is easily globally change things in your compositions using more intuitive menus. So like dark theme right here, light theme right here everything changes, it's all great. And this is very, very useful for editors in Premiere. If you're passing on projects to editors, um, it makes things a lot more intuitive to change. Um, in this case, it's not that important because you could have done this with the checkbox kind of, um, but if you had like four, five, six options, you know, it wouldn't make sense to use a binary, you know, on and off checkbox, true or false checkbox for like five different options. Um, so this is a lot easier, more intuitive for other people. Um, and just make things a lot smoother in your operations here. So this is a great addition to After Effects. I'm gonna show you guys how to set this up, how to rig this up using expressions here. So here I have a blank composition right here. And this is kind of like an ugly starter theme that I kind of created to kind of demonstrate this. And so we're gonna rig this up from scratch. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new a null object. We're gonna call this control. And we're gonna go ahead and add the new drop down menu control right here. And this is what it looks like. And so it has some dummy items right here. And we can go ahead and edit these. Call this first one here dark theme. Call the second one here light theme. These seem kind of popular nowadays. Everything has dark theme in their UI. I'm gonna go and delete this third option right here. And notice how dark theme has a number one next to it and light theme has a number two to it. These numbers are important. They are the indexes or the item number within the menu control. And we'll need to have these numbers um, in order to control some of this stuff here. So hit, go ahead and hit okay. And so what we have here is a background layer and it has a fill effect applied, right? So I'm gonna link this to our expression controls, our drop down. So go back here, I'm gonna lock this menu so I can always see this menu right here. I'm gonna go back to my background. I'm gonna hold down alter option and go ahead and click on the color stopwatch to bring up the expression controls. And so we're gonna type a little expression here, an if else conditional statement. If you're familiar with any coding languages, um, it's basically an if else statement. And so the idea is, look, if this is true, do this. If it's not true, do something else. So in this case, if the menu is set to dark theme, use this color as the background. If it sets a light theme, use this color as a background. And if none of those are true, do something else. And so I'm not gonna focus on the syntax so much, but if you wanna look that up on, online, there's plenty of resources for JavaScript syntax. So it looks like this. And the whole like expression editor in After Effects is still kind of janky. Um, so it does a lot of skipping stuff. Um, so if, and then we'll do a curly bracket hit enter and that kind of like closes it and now things are all jank, but it added a brace here and it's just, ugh, it's just a mess. Else if parentheses bracket and enter and now it, that does that and we'll do another else and that does that. And so, so basically you want to create something like this. Make sure the syntax looks exactly like this. So if parentheses, curly brace and so on and so forth. The spacing itself is actually not important. This is just kind of like a formatting issue, not so much syntax per se. So I'm gonna say if this drop down menu right here, so pick whip um, to the drop down menu. So if, and notice how I deleted one of my 
parentheses, which is so stupid. Um, so if the drop down menu is set to equal to one, so what does that mean? So if the drop down menu double equal sign to one, now what is one? One is our dark theme. Remember, dark theme is our first item, light theme is our second item. So this is where it kind of comes together. So if this menu is equal to one, then the background color should be this. Now, this is where we enter our background color right here, right? The joy of After Effects is that in the back end and code and expressions, um, it doesn't use hex values, which we're used to as web designers and whatnot. Um, it uses a format that looks like kind of like this. So it's a, a, it's a bracket um, array of items here. It's four items, so like zero, 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 zero. And what this means is the first value is our red channel. Our second is RG, so green. Third value is blue. And this last number represents the alpha channel. So alpha for color is usually one. If you don't want any transparency, it's usually set to one. These other values here are set between zero to one. So like 0.5, this could be like 0.5. This could be like 0.1, this could be like 0.25. And that would give you a color, um, but we, you know, we, didn't, we didn't fill all this stuff in, so it's throwing us an error right now. But that's what color looks like, um, just FYI. So don't try to paste any hex codes in there. Now, luckily, After Effects comes with some expressions built in where you can use hex codes and it'll convert it to you into that weird format. And that expression is actually called hex to RGB. And make sure you type it exactly like this, hex to capital RGB, and in here, we can enter a hex code, but it has to be a string, so put quotes, right? Put double quotation marks, and then our background for a dark theme, I have it right here, is actually this right here. I'm gonna copy it, paste it in. So if the menu set to one, use this hex code, which it gets converted to that weird RGB format. If the menu, is equal to two, close the parentheses right here. Then this is our light theme now, right? So we're gonna do hex to RGB, semicolon, string. And then our color is going to be this hex code right here. And if it's not equal to any of those menus, which I don't know how it wouldn't be, but we need to have a condition just in case, we'll put value, which is the original value. So look, so now if our dark theme is set, it's set to this purple color. If it's set to the light theme, then it's set to this white color right here. And this is effectively how you rig color for the control dropdown, right? So we can call this like theme control. We can copy this, right? We can go into our triangle right here under fill and paste that in. And we can pretty much just change this so that so instead of this color right here, the dark theme should be this color right here. And for the light theme, it should be this color right here. So now, so now the triangle updates, we can do the same thing for the divider fill color right here. So same thing, I'm just gonna paste, go back to the expressions here. Paste that in expand it, change the color. So the divider should be this color for dark, this color here for light. Now for the actual text, it's a little bit different, right? You could, you know, just add a fill effect and fill the color of the text using a fill effect. But actually now with After Effects 2020, you actually have access to new properties for the source text, right? So go to the text source text. If you wanted to do this with using the new expressions, go to the source text, um, open the, the expression controls right here, or the expression windows. And so now you have something like this. If you go to, to the play button right here, we have this new section called text and we have all these extra properties under styles. So it's really, really great. So now that we're accessing the style, right? Um, go ahead and type in style, right? And there's actually more property values, right? So we go to text, we already set style. Now you can go to the properties of styles and we can actually set the fill color. So as you can see, there's a lot of options. We can set the font, we can change the font size, we can get the font size, we can read the font size, we can apply strokes, get the stroke color, set stroke colors. We can do a whole bunch of stuff. And these are just under style. There's more controls for source text. I'll probably make a separate tutorial about this if you guys want. 
I just kind of want to show you guys just kind of briefly what's going on. So what I want to use right here is the set fill color, right? So I want to type in style set fill color. And in this case, it wants a, you know, an RGB kind of array format that we talked about earlier. Um, so we're not going to do that. We're going to type in the same expression right here. So um, hex to RGB. And we're going to type in our hex code as a string as well. And that's going to be white for the dark theme. And like before, you want to do the whole conditional statement, right? So we'll just go ahead and copy this in here. Expand this. So if the menu is set to dark theme, we'll use this expression style set fill color um, hex to RGB and we'll set it to white right if it's set to the light theme we'll still set the fill color but we're going to use um, this kind of like gray color right here just like that and we can go ahead and paste that for the subtitle text as well so now light theme the text is gray dark theme, the text is now white. And this is all done without using any fill effect or anything like that. Um, so it's all rigged up and this is great for kind of just making things a lot more tidy, more organized. So before I go, I wanna give a quick thanks to our sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the only one platform to create an amazing website, whether it's for your store, online business, or portfolio. They have awesome things to choose from, fully customizable so you can make it the way you want it to look like without having any coding knowledge required. They have awesome 24 hour support, and best of all, if you use the promo code DOJO at checkout, you can actually save 10% off your order and support the dojo. So check it out over at squarespace.com slash dojo. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. So that's pretty much it, guys. This is the new expression controls in After Effects 2020, the new drop down menu. I know all this can be kind of confusing with all the expressions and coding and all that great stuff. So I'll go ahead and post some additional links down below that kind of explain the syntax as well as the format and what things for turn and what things take in parameters and all that great stuff in the video description down below so you can read it. It might make more sense to you guys if you just kind of read it and take your time rather than watching this kind of like fast paced quick tip video. If you guys really dig these expression coding tutorials, let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like these. My name is Vincent Wynn from The Creative Dojo and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.